Greetings to you! Here I am again. Um, this is a video now, very spontaneous. There's no right or wrong. You choose what feels right for you. I can only speak from my own experience and from what I've learned from the women that I've coached and worked with. It's all around if you want the best relationship, the best, most intimate, passionate, connected, spiritual, whatever you really want. There's a few steps to that. They're, they sound simple, but I really can help women to hone in on that and to realize that first she has to feel this for herself. So the first thing is find out what you really want. For some of us, you know, a spiritual connection is important. For someone else, it's more a connection that you perhaps have an intellectual one above all. And maybe you both like traveling or you both love, um, I don't know, poetry. It could be all these different things or a spiritual journey that is a specific type of direction. Or maybe you're an artist and you want to enjoy doing art with somebody. You need to be clear on that and then allow the universe to bring or life to attract to you what's really great because what we think we want and what we what is really right for us can sometimes be different things but knowing what you want from a deep place is really important that's why it's not just a superficial question it really is one of sitting down and really owning it what do i really want and this can this can be in wanting to attract a new relationship or transforming a current relationship because relationships in a sense they get really boring not for you or me or them but they get boring in terms of stagnant if we don't look at how can we renovate it like a kitchen like a house it's got this beauty to it it's got beautiful things that are comfortable that are working for you and what can you change do you want to add a window here do you want to add a skylight here do you want to add a garden back there do you want to change the bed so that it has you know different bed sheets on it or different you know decorations around it there is just just like this life is always changing and often in relationships we try to keep the relationship the same which makes us think it's secure but it's actually slowly suffocating it it's like um a pond is beautiful but it needs to have water coming in and things coming out and the ecosystem to keep it healthy. And really a relationship will thrive when you reinvent it. You use the bits that work well and you also decide, what do we want to change? How can I be more for you? And, you know, I love this about you. And can we do more of this? And it's, it's a loving um, conversation which leads you to a creative place. It's like, you know, a garden. You also look at it. I love this. I love that. I want to change that. And it's the same. And it actually will spice it up for you. So the first thing is then, are you in one and you want to shift it into something like it used to be, where it is more passionate, where it is more full of surprises, but has that, that element of I, I know you and I know we love each other. And you're just renewing that. You're renewing that each day or each moment. So notice what resonates in your situation and then become aware of what that is you know um you know do you want to have uh more foot massages do you want to have a regular time when you both go to bed rather than perhaps having different times when you go to bed feeling that disconnect do you want to you know have a project together that you know will bond you more and and be fun and bring you back to that spark that you used to have when you met what brought you together if you are rejuvenating a relationship or if you want to have something that you loved in the new relationship that you will attract in what makes you feel the most alive and so the other thing that's really important and more important than any of this is actually can you give this unconditional love to yourself can you give it to yourself so that means do you massage your feet at night do you give um, you know yourself a facial and and really love yourself as you do that do you enjoy looking at you know, dressing yourself in a way that feels really good for you do you enjoy treating yourself to healthy food and not expect someone else to take responsibility for that and then you know do you want to invite somebody in that also wants to eat a certain vibrationally frequent frequency kind of food right and then we could go from there and say all right so how do i love myself so that in itself is a really big thing you could list all the things that you love and 
where you action a lot towards yourself and then you could notice and be very honest with yourself it's not judgment it's more becoming aware and then being able to shift things where do you feel you let yourself down you're not really loving yourself you're not being your best friend you are giving yourself um, neglect in a sense or perhaps negativity or where you are letting yourself down so you're not moving forward and thriving once you thrive you'll be able to be a better person for your whole community anyway for your family your community so whether you then re re-establish a relationship or rejuvenate it or whether you attract your first or you know real soulmate relationship that's a bonus really that's gonna happen in divine time and so that's why i've noticed and observed this in women when women are dedicated to a weekly routine minimum of self-care that can be yoga meditation um, you know massage art class dancing a home ritual um, taking herself out for dinner buying herself flowers it sounds simple but it makes a difference lighting a candle every night looking in the mirror saying i love you thank you and you know really that is important can you look in the mirror and see your beauty can you see that you have journeyed and you have become this beautiful you know like a wine that is always maturing and learning and growing and is is unique and is enjoying her own company most of all once you have that you become very magnetic so breathing as well if you breathe deeply and connect with your breath that's a form of self-love and someone else will pick up on that whether they are yogi or not they know this woman is embodied she's really in her body and that makes it very beautiful because you're relating to a person that is in acceptance and love with themselves it doesn't it's not an egoic love it's not a narcissistic thing it's more yes i'm responsible for myself and i take care of myself so i'm not being a burden on someone else and equally um, i empower the other to also be responsible for themselves and together we create a supportive system loving that is balanced so can you up level that in yourself every little bit that you shift will be reflected in not just your relationships in terms of intimate but also with your family your friends with perhaps new job opportunities they all will match that and you literally see things in a different way it it, it is unavoidable so making a list about those things is a start being really honest with yourself and today is a day change it you can change it you can start to take those steps it doesn't matter what your age is it doesn't matter what has happened in the past a new beginning is available you could really make this decision and if you want to accelerate that make that awareness be conscious every single day write it down look in the mirror every day acknowledging that you love yourself and you're on a journey do something every day that acknowledges your beauty your divinity your sacredness um, ask for help if you need to really move forward if you feel the unconscious keeps taking you forward and then backwards because the unconscious is still running its program because as we change sometimes we're inspired and we can change things through the mind through changing our mind through making a new choice and it's all very exciting but then the unconscious patterns come in when life gets a bit tough because that is the autopilot that we step into so at that point is when someone can help you to reflect that and help you like someone a coach like me that can say okay and i'll hear that straight away when you speak because i'm trying to hear that okay i've heard you say that a few times but i just don't deserve that and that just never happens and yeah well this is what i keep doing and i seem to do the same thing i'll catch these and we will pull them out and get to the root cause the one root cause that links to all of them and once that is loosened out and seen for what it is and gratitude is expressed and all of that you can literally feel the transformation it's now from the unconscious into the conscious and therefore won't repeat other layers may be there it's not going to be you suddenly or perfect but step by step the biggest things will get removed and all the other things will start to fall more and more into place and that's where the yoga that I teach really helps because we go into that breath work, we go into meeting our divinity, into opening the body, softening into it. Being, it's a loving practice of self-hypnosis, movement and breath work. 
and with an intention in particular you can really shift into that kind of space yourself setting an intention what's my practice for this week as i do my yoga once a week twice a week whatever it is and what is really important just that will will create a manifestation the world around you will reflect that and you will have opportunities it's really amazing and it's very accelerated right now so it's easier it's getting easier and easier to flow with our soul and it's getting harder and harder to go against our natural innate soul wish and what we truly want from this life so if you're really suffering it possibly means that you are resisting what your being really wants to do and if you are feeling life is actually getting easier and you're almost feeling guilty because people around you perhaps are suffering but you are noticing that you're not interested in feeling like a victim you're not interested in going around in circles over the same problem then you're noticing you're flowing with your new self the true core self with the where the, all those other layers that we put on top as we grow up and listen to the so-called wiser but not actually wiser people once we've dropped that it will just start to feel natural and you'll notice that it'll be more ease grace and flow and with that if you're a mother you're going to influence your kids in the most divine way because as you love yourself and take that time and then come from your heart center your children will feel that and respond and also start to embody that on a deeper 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 level and really that's what kids are teaching us they already come in like that and then are we running old programs and and going back into what our parents taught or whatever it is or are we actually becoming in awe of the expression of this child and our relationship and this super precious time we get together to learn from each other and to grow and to keep the heart open 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 no matter what letting love creativity intuition and awareness of the gut and truth lead the way not suppressing our feelings you know oh you need to be nice to uncle so-and-so and auntie so-and-so and grandpa and grandma so-and-so but allowing the child to notice oh, i don't feel comfortable with that or i want to do that instead and of course within boundaries realizing so well, what would you like to do and how do you feel about it honoring their feeling and then saying well today can we obviously teach compromise but balanced you know not that weird stuff of sitting on other people's laps and putting up with abusive behavior and ignoring our own awareness because that translates into our relationships later on and into our work environments in our husband and wife relationships in our friendships there it will be these things will be carried through and that's important to release them i help women to release this that have been traumatized that have that have gone through that cycle and they just realize it's a cycle and they're over it and that's where it goes you need to go to the unconscious heal that forgive that which i teach and it's actually not hard to do i'm right there by your side and it is very doable very effective very quick and then building on top of that with that renewed self-love relationship it's so worth it it's so beneficial for you the world and everyone so you could even right now write down any traumas that you're aware of trust what flows as you write and notice which things have affected you and notice if there's a pattern because on a soul level on a highest level we've all come in to transcend and through these experiences and heal that as a collective so it's not a negative thing it's more like wow i've chosen to go through this and that and this and now i'm going to heal that and finish that off and enjoy it with ease grace and serving light and love and true connecting to the divinity inside hope you enjoyed it maybe journal or listen to it again and reach out anytime this is my absolute passion have a wonderful moment of now <laughs>